I came to New Brunswick from Northwestern, British Columbia. I came for undergrad university. I attended Mount Allison University and shortly after completing my undergraduate degree, I completed a graduate degree there and applied to medical school and arrived in St. John for my four-year medical degree training. Enjoyed St. John a tremendous amount and I completed a residency program here in family medicine and emergency medicine and was fortunate enough to get a job here in St. John working at the St. John Regional Hospital Emergency Department. As a medical student, I completed a research project in the Department of Emergency Medicine. That was at a very early part of my career. When I got into residency, we were required to complete a residency research project. So I got to, again, work with Horizon Research Services to successfully finish that project, publish that study. And um, shortly after um, getting a job here and starting to work. The first year I supervised a student in his residency project but now have accepted the role as the director of research so on a daily weekly basis I actually work quite regularly with Horizon Research Services. I enjoy what I do in the emergency department but to be able to fulfill my other responsibilities as well as my other passions I'm tremendously grateful that I have the help and expertise of Horizon Research Services to work alongside to again achieve the same goal that we, we both want which is to help patients. Research requires mentorship, so um, everything, my daily job is to teach students, residents, um, educate other people as well. Um, the other thing that I talked about that I really enjoy about research is, again, taking the information that's out there, assessing whether it's high quality and incorporating practice. And when we do incorporate in practice, provided it's helpful, sharing that with my colleagues. And one of the things that we try to do is incorporate best evidence in some of our clinical practice guidelines. And so the different people who are in charge of writing these guidelines, I've recently written one with a colleague of mine, uh, Luke Taylor with atrial fibrillation, is actually taking and synthesizing the best available evidence and what's most current and actually applying it so that it's available to all my colleagues. The other thing I really enjoy is taking, again, that dearth of knowledge that's out there and actually trying to translate it into something meaningful that helps us at the bedside.